Hey, I'm back with another part of the miniature painting video and this time I'm doing a bit of touch up on the skin uh, mostly on the face and I'm going to have a crack at painting the eyes on camera uh, as you can see later on this didn't turn out too well so I went back in and painted them um, sort of off camera later on so just putting some highlights onto the skin same technique as usual the colours I'm using this time are the flat for the highlights. I'm using the flat flesh um, that I used for the base, mixed with uh, the Citadel game colour off white, which I used in the previous video about painting eyes. That provides a nice bright highlight that isn't too sharp in the end. And you can see I'm going for sort of quite a quite a light colour on that side of the face because of the way her face is tilted. I want sort of the, the side that's up to be quite bright and I want the side that's down to be really quite in shadow to give that sort of contrast across her face. Some minor touch up on the legs here. Um, at this point in time I'm using the um, game, uh, was it, uh, Games and Gears brushes that I got from their Kickstarter and they're, they're, they're sort of set of Pro Studio brushes. They're, they're quite interesting brushes. They're double-ended, um, which I thought would work quite well for the two-brush blending technique on account of you only need one brush at that point in time. So it saves having to sort of put one down on the table or hold it in your mouth or something along those lines. So I thought I'd give those a go whilst I was doing this, and I'll be doing a um, review of those at some point in the future. Um, more in depth, go into them a bit more. Um, I'll try using them as well on different miniatures. And once I've got once I've got the hang of them, I'll do a video review on it. But for the moment, just a quick um, quick trial on this miniature. Putting a bit of shadow in there on a thigh. Uh, it seemed to need it really. Um, I think it sort of fits quite well in there had difficulty in a few places actually finding sort of angles to get into on the miniature so here we go I'm gonna have a crack at the eyes so I've got one eye whited in just trying to find an angle that I can work with on the other eye and as you can see I totally missed on that one but that's not important mistakes aren't important um, they can be touched up quite easily um, just by simply sort of painting over the mistake in the appropriate colour. So I've got the eyes whited in and I was quite happy with the way that was sitting so I grabbed some black and um, sort of stuck it on my wet palette and then quickly uh, came back in. I'm using quite diluted paints here um, at this point in time I'm probably around somewhere between 20 and 30 centimeters away from the actual miniature and those eyes are probably maybe a millimeter probably less than a millimeter so I'm having extreme difficulty actually seeing what I'm actually doing at this point in time and as you can see that eye there I went way out and I'm gonna have to come back in and touch that up But overall, they, they, they kind of went in, and you can see sort of the technique. I wasn't too happy with the finish, and I decided that because I was so far away from the actual miniature, it, would, it just wasn't going to happen on camera. So at this point in time, I decided the best thing I could do now is just put a base coat onto the hair. Um, mainly, this, this is mainly um, so that you get a, you get more of a feel for the highlights and the shadows on the skin tone and how they're going to look in relation to the colours that are around them and it's also because I want to sort of blend in the hair because the hair is quite thick it's almost it's almost like sort of branches coming out of her head really um, into sort of twigs and things um, because it is really quite thick um, the actual sort of individual strands if you look at it um, and it's got um, 
leaves in there as well, which I'll be painting up in a sort of yellowy green. Probably the same colour as the dress, to be honest. So, just a quick base coat on the hair. I got kind of discouraged at this point in time when the eyes didn't work out too well. I'm trying to figure out what to do because I really wanted to show you every single brush stroke that I've put on this miniature. It, that that was always my goal with these videos was to show you every single brush stroke on the miniature, and it just proved to be impossible to paint the eyes at the same time at the at the same time as filming it. I and mean, possibly there's there's other setups I could have used, but it it just wasn't going to work at that point in time. So I decided to quickly sort of go in go in with the hair colour. And it is quite dark at the moment, but the top of the head is going to be lightened up fairly significantly. I mean that colour's probably going to be the darkest it's going to get on the top of her head. As it gets further down her back towards her neck, then it'll probably get um, darker than that um, as it goes into shadow but for the most part that's about as dark as it's going to get on top of her head and here you can see I'm just taking some of the base flesh tones and sort of moving it back into the hair and just blending it out so that there's a bit of a transition between the skin tone and the hair tones I'm not really sure what race you could define her as she's not really sort of elvish um, you can't see uh, I, I couldn't see any of her um, ears so I can't I couldn't tell if the ears are pointy um, so I, I kind of had her pegged as a sort of fairy or, or sprite or something along those lines which would explain the hair so here I've just come back in and I'm looking to this this was about ten minutes work on the on the sort of face, just putting the eyes in. I had my optivisor on, which is essentially a headband with a magnifying glass in front of it, um, so that you can see finer detail. And I came back in and I dotted in the eyes, probably about four or five attempts on the eyes, um, put a bit of colour on her lips, and sort of just sort of generally did a bit of tidy up on the skin tones. Um, again, this this was 10-15 minutes work, I think, so nothing major. Uh, I darkened the the underside of her face a lot more as well. Um, I actually went down from the English uniform, uh, which I was using. I added some black to that, so that there's a bit more definition in there. And I do a quick zoom so that we can see sort of the face in a bit more detail so yeah there you go it's probably um, there's probably some more clean up that could be done to it but for the moment I'm fairly happy with the way that she looks um, I'm gonna put some makeup on her as well at some point in time but she'll do for now <laughs> 